Hey everybody, Bones here, Bones Garage, just bringing you an update what's going on at the garage. So, 2018 Toyota Tacoma, we have her almost all done, but we are still waiting on those front struts. They are lost somewhere out in Cyberland, cyberspace, shipping container, something. Somewhere those struts are, but they are not here. And we are just stuck in, in place right now. We can't move any further. And it really is a terrible thing because it's backing up even more work. Yay, this is, I just, I love shipping. So anyhow, we ended up getting new lower control arms because the old control arms, they were on such a bad angle that it's partially due to age, but also due to they were such a bad angle that the ball joint was really, really loose. Like this, if you push it back and forth, you actually have to push it back and forth to make it move. Even though it's greased, you still have to move it. The original control arm that was on here with the original ball joint, that ball joint just kind of flopped around. So it's just easier, get the right part, do it the right way, get it done. Um, we were gonna originally just change out the ball joint, but by the time we got it out, by the time we bought the ball joint, put everything back together, it was gonna be close to the same cost as just buying a whole new control arm. So, buy a whole new control arm. There you go. It's a time saver and it saves the customer a couple of bucks. Um, the next thing is, we have all of the frame rails all nicely painted. We cleaned up the control arm, we checked it, and this ball joint is still good. Even though it was at extreme angle, it's still working well. It doesn't have that many miles on it, so it really didn't affect it terribly. That one, like I said, it had some miles on it. It also had an extreme angle on it, so it took its toll on it. Um, we have the steering knuckle all set up and ready to go in. We have the backing plate on. We have the hub all in place. Everything's been properly torqued down to the right torque spec. We have our skid plate ready to go up. We're just, again, waiting on the struts and stuff so we can put everything together, then put that in and put the, the um, anti-roll bar in, sway bar. And then we go to the back. And you can see, back's all done, ready to go. We have the nice new Fox shocks in there. We have the spacer, the new U-bolts. Everything's ready to go. We got the new um, location for the parking brake. Those are in. Everything to extend all the wiring and the hoses for the underneath. That's all in to go to the axle. Everything's in over there. So. We also cleaned up the whole frame on this side, made it look really nice because the customer who owns this, he spent a lot of money just buying the truck and then doing all of these upgrades to it. You know, it, it's not cheap, it's expensive. So let's make it look as nice as we possibly can. The next thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna fix his back bumper. As you can see, it sits like this. It faces down. It should be nice and level. So we're going to take the back bumper and we're going to loosen it up, reposition it, and put it back together. And especially that it's sitting here hitting the rear fender. Well, that's not good. So we're going to fix that for him. Whoever put it on, the last company that put it on, just really didn't do a good job of it. I mean, look at how much of an angle it's coming down next to the light. It, it really, it, that kind of pisses me off. It also hits the fender right there. So we're gonna fix all of that up, get that all nice. And you can see this side's all done, it's also ready to go. We have the new tires we're gonna be putting on. We just gotta get them over to our tire shop to have them remove those rims, put those tires on those rims, and then we'll take those tires off. And then, we should be able to hopefully by then have the front struts so we can get it over to the alignment shop and get it aligned and then get it back to the customer because he's dying to get his truck back. <laughs> can you blame him? It is a beautiful truck. It's a really nice truck. I really like these trucks. So there you go. 
Oh, and the next thing we're going to be doing is once we get all this together, we're going to be reprogramming his radar for his cruise control and also for his lane assist because the company who did the lift kit never reprogrammed it and it was pissing him off royally that he couldn't use his cruise control when he drives all the way down into the city every day, which is an hour and a half ride. So he was really, really upset about that not working. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna plug in, we're gonna reprogram it, set all the parameters up, and make sure that it works. I hate getting a vehicle that has things that are working and then when it leaves my shop, I do not want to hear from the customer saying, hey, that was working and now it's not. So especially when we worked on that area or worked on the truck and we're the cause of that radar not working. So there you go, guys. We stand behind all our work. Everything we do, we stand behind. If the customer says, I want this done, I say, can we go through, make sure everything behind it is good? If he says yes, I will stand behind everything my guys do, including myself. Um, if I ask, if the customer asks me he wants that done, and I ask, can I go and check everything behind that, and he says no, well, you're on your own there. But as long as you let me go through the truck and or the car and make sure everything around that area that we're working on is good, we will stand behind everything we do. So there you go, guys. Have a good one. I will talk to you real soon. Okay, bye.